index, index, ring. I don't have any finger movement or thumbs, just kind of have this. Nathan was injured in a car accident about 10 years ago and is paralyzed from the neck down more or less. We're doing the study to see if we can pretty much get sensation back. Without sensation, movement is uh, it's really challenging. So the question we really were asking here is can we make a person feel like they're experiencing touch from their hand if we electrically stimulate a part of the brain that we know is responsible for processing that touch. The way we did that was by implanting uh, little electrodes into a part of the sensory cortex that we know is involved in interpreting or listening to uh, signals that normally come from the hand. We call it bi-directional control. So not only are we intercepting signals for control, but we're feeding back the touch that the artificial hand encounters when it makes contact with an object. You know, we've never been able to know before what it feels like to stimulate in the brain. Did you feel like, that? Yeah. Where, where are you feeling it? Like, uh, very base. It felt like I was getting my fingers uh, touched or pushed. Mm -hmm. uh, middle. Pinky. And so, you know, when he clearly says index finger, middle finger, pinky finger, you know, it was many years of work to get to that moment, and I think there were a lot of people who were very excited to see that it was working like we expected it to. Pinky. It's a really weird sensation. Uh, sometimes it feels kind of like electrical, and sometimes it's more of a pressure. Nathan is able to repeat the same type of movement and dexterity and performance in controlling the arm uh, that we were able to get with our last participant. I think that Nathan, like Jan, like Tim, like every subject who's been a part of this, has wanted to be an explorer, has wanted to you know, uh, go out and do what's not been done before. And, and it's been life-changing for them, and I've seen that with Nathan as well, and so that's another form of gratification. We've been able to get funding from the National Institutes of Health, from the Department of Veterans Affairs, from DARPA, from several different sources. But what started this was some funding from UPMC and this unbelievable scientific community that we have at the University of Pittsburgh. I'm looking forward to when all these uh, little steps and processes we've uh, been working on can actually all work together. Uh, to mingle and make something pretty cool. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.